Hello everybody and welcome to the first video of learning trigonometry. So today, uh, or for the rest of the uh, video section, I'll, for just for the trigonometry category, I'll be using Solomon's Trigonometry a Unit Circle Approach textbook. So I have a link down below if you want to either rent or purchase the textbook uh, for your own reference. But uh, for this video, we are going to start with section 1.1, the using the distance formula um, under the rectangular coordinates. Um, all right, so let's get started. So we have two, we have uh, these two points for number one, one, three, and five, six. So what do they mean? Well, here, one is actually, one and five, are actually located on the x-axis and then uh, 3 and 6 are, are actually located on the y-axis and the y is the vertical axis which is right here and the x-axis is on the horizontal uh, axis of the uh, Cartesian coordinate okay so let's plot these two points. So how do we start? Well, look at the first point. It's what? 1, 3. So we start from x is 1. So we go from 0, 1. Here's x is 1, right? And then we go up to the 3 where the y axis, where 3 is located on the y axis. So we go 1, 2, 3. Oh, we found our first point. OK, so. Ah, okay, so the next point is 5, 6. So we go from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, here's 5 on the x-axis. It makes sense because 5 is under the x column. And we go up to the uh, 6 on the y uh, axis. So it'll be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here you go, here is six. Now all we have to do is connect these two dots because it's fun connecting things together. And then try to find some type of application or solution within these connections. So now we have these two connections. What do we do? Well, we wanna find the distance, right? Between these two points. Well, what can we use to find these two distance? We can use the distance formula, but as you, you get more uh, proficient, you won't have to memorize these formulas because it will just become second nat nature to you. So let's make something. May let's make a shape out of this thing. So if we continue on making this shape, we can see that it's making a triangle. And in this case, it will be a right triangle. Okay, it's a right triangle. Okay, so let's see. Here's, and this is based off of the Pythagorean theorem, which I will have another video covering that, or prove that, or and further explain where that came from. It's a very neat and um, enlightened theorem. So here, let's just count how many uh, squares there are. One, two, three, four. So on the bottom of the triangle, there's four squares. And then on the side, there's three. Okay, but how do we know how many, you know, the distance, because it looks kind of like four, but doesn't look like four. We can't exactly be sure, you know, so we have to use the distance formula to make sure that we have our the right solution. So let's get started. So we the distance formula says mm -mm -mm, distance from you know from the distance equals distance equals oops. So it's uh, and then minus, what do you 
think it will be? It will be y sub 2 minus y sub 1, and then square it, and then you square root all of this. Okay, so what's x sub 2? Well, x sub 2 is actually the, the last point that we plotted, which is 5, 6. So it will be 5 minus 1. Oh. Five minus one, and then minus, what's y sub two? It's the last y that we plotted, which is six minus three, okay? Whee! Okay, uh, there's something wrong with my tablet, which I need to fix because this is lagging a lot. That's why it doesn't have the best, I don't have the best handwriting right here, but let's, but it's about the content. So it's five minus one, what is that? Four, four to the, four times four or four square is what? It's 16, isn't it? Yes, it is 16. Minus, six minus three is what? Three, and then three to the, uh, squared is 9. So we got 9 here. <sighs> oh, sorry, I made a little, I made a huge mistake. I knew something was going on because that's not the right answer. It's actually supposed to be plus. So always check your mistake. And how did I know that I made a mistake? Because of the Pythagorean theorem. And I kind of knew the answer. So 16 minus nine, that was not the answer. 16 minus nine, and it was seven, and I had to take the square root of seven. That would give me some crazy decimal numbers, which I don't want for a simple problem like this. So what is this? It's a square root of 25, right? What is the square root of 25? Well, kids and uh, fellow students and adults, you should know this by heart. It's five without even using a calculator. There's a list of square roots that you should know, especially if you want to take the GRE later on in your career, your academic career, to pursue a higher education, then you should definitely know the square root list, which I will uh, have some, uh, have a list perhaps on my blog. So the distance between uh, 1, 3, and 5, 6 is 5.